How's it going, everybody? Mike here from Kapowcast, back at it with yet another Marvel Legends action figure review. Today, we are taking a look at the incredible Nightcrawler. So here we have Nightcrawler in package, looking pretty sweet. Uh, loving just everything we're getting here. Nightcrawler on the bottom there. You got a Nightcrawler image on the side. Another image on that side. X on the top. Bunch of stuff on the back here. Here we have the other figures in the wave. Uh, sadly, I will not be getting most of these. Uh, I have no desire to have another Wolverine. No desire really to have Guardian. Um, Cannonball, the whole effect and no like things really bugs me. So I really see no point if I don't get him and getting her. But I am picking up Mr. Sinister, so that one will be next. Uh, if you want to have a quick read up here on Nightcrawler, you can pause and read that real quick. Other than that, we just got a bunch of blah blah on the bottom. I cannot wait any longer, so we are going to get him open. Let's go. So yes, Nightcrawler does come with an arm from Windigo, um, but like I said, I don't think I will be building this, so I, I may just end up putting this in a box of parts, or maybe somebody wants it and wants to trade it, I don't know. We'll see. But it looks really good. Good shading. Good color. It's good. So first up, in the way of accessories, we do have this sword here that Nightcrawler comes with. Looking pretty good. It's got some silver paint on it. Looking very shiny. Loving the handle. It's got a little bit of gold splotch there. I don't, yeah, I don't know if that's a splotch or a chip, but it's not too bad. I'm not, I'm not overly concerned about that. But it's pretty good, and he holds it pretty well. So I dig it. Very nice. We also have an extra open hand here to uh, put on him. Not bad. Still good. Um, I don't know if I'll have him displayed with the sword or not, but I, I appreciate this. And yes, so Nightcrawler does come with three different heads. Uh, first up, he does have this more neutral-like head. Uh, this is a fine head if you want a more, as I said, natural look. It looks good. Digging the all yellow eyes, the blue wash on the hair. He's got the elf ears going on. Uh, no blue wash on the on the back. That's kind of weird I think it just kind of if you look on top here uh, it just kind of stops and it's it's like that for uh, for all the heads so they just kind of gave up when it got to the back but that's fine but that's a that's a decent head it might not be my preferred uh, look to them but it's good next up we have the more happy head once again very nice I'm, I love the shade of blue they used on this guy very nice once again, looking very nice around the eyes. The teeth look good. Very clean, actually. Good job, Hasbro. Still loving the blue wash and the elf ears. Very good. Very. These three heads are very consistent, I feel, with each other. So that's always a plus. Get the focus. So I dig that. I really dig that, that happy one because Nightcrawler can be a very uh, happy character. So I like it. And then we have the more angry head, and I love this one. This is actually probably my favorite of all of them. This just looks really nice. I really dig it. I like how they have the dark blue kind of around the eyes because a lot of the comics he was depicted that way. It was more of a black, but this is a very good updated way and a nice way of trying to uh, emulate that look. But I really like this. Same thing. Got the elf ears and the blue wash on the top of the head there. Very nice. Very, very, very appreciated. I love it. We get three different heads. It almost makes you want to buy three different Nightcrawlers to display them, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, inside of the mouth, too, looks really good. You got the focus, you got the tongue in there. Very nice. Great work, guys, bro. This is the head I'm going to leave on for the rest of this review. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the entire figure. And here we have Nightcrawler posed up and ready to go. And, oh boy, do I love this figure. Um, if, if you're super into posing, this is a figure for you. Uh, there's some minor QC issues on mine, but nothing to get overly angry about. Not like I have with, you know, the Silver Samurai and the um, Loki figure and, and that. But still a very nice figure. So we already took a look at the heads. So we'll take a look here at the rest of the figure. Uh, loving the shoulder pads. They're not very soft at all. They're a little bit. There's a little give. Uh, so you might want to watch out for any paint rub there. But very nice work, clean work, and this classic Nightcrawler design. Um, 
a little bummed. It's it's not. I guess I can use his sword here as a pointer. It's not super noticeable, but like here and here, there's a slight difference in the reds. So that's that's kind of a bummer, but it's not really a make or break thing for me. It actually looks you can tell more so on camera than you can in person. Uh, but I know on a lot of them, when you got around to the boots here, a lot of the paint was kind of iffy. I'm happy to say, you know, it's good on mine. That's all clean and good. I do have a bit of a, a whoopsie here, so that's kind of a bummer, but nothing too bad. And I know a lot of people are kind of bummed because if you look very closely, you can see where the paint overlaps the white right here. It overlaps the white and the black, and you can see that it kind of, there's two tones there. You know, if, if you're really a perfectionist, that could bother you, but it, I, I, I'm not too, too, too bothered by it. Like... These are 20 some dollar figures. You can't expect the world of them. Should it happen? No, but I'm not going to get like super nerd rage over it. It's not like putting a part on backwards or giving a, a part two of the same thing. It's just, I think something with a mass produced figure like this, that is just, you know, that's just the way it happens. And I've seen everybody's, I've watched plenty of reviews and that's how all the Nightcrawlers look. So uh, just noticing too, I got a little bit of a black scratch right there. That's kind of a bummer as well, but still not too bad. Back of the figures, very nice, very clean. They actually have started uh, just painting the serial numbers on there instead of molding them in, which is still really annoying. I don't know why they don't just put that on the bottom of the foot. But if you get some nail polish remover and very carefully, you can actually just completely rub that off. So that's that's nothing. The tail here is very nice. It's not a bendy wire, but it is a pliable plastic, and it does you know spin around, so you can have it up like that. Uh, if you have it down, it does sometimes have a tendency to kind of get caught here. But it's not a big deal. I mean, you can you can easily fix it. It's nothing to get bent out of shape about. I mean, you have to be, I mean, pretty trivial to get bent out of shape about something so small. Um, but yeah, I really like uh, this figure. I was really excited for it, and I'm glad to see I didn't have a storm incident where there was just paint mess all over or anything like that. Um, yeah, love it, love it. All right, so articulation for Kurt here is pretty fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so his head's on a ball joint, it can go over all the way around, it's on a hinge as well, so it can go up that far, it can go down that far. His arms can go out that far, along with around. As I said, they'll watch here for paint rub, but you can kind of tilt it out to make it do a whole round. Uh, he has a bicep swivel, he has a double jointed elbow, so very nice. He also has a swivel here on his wrist. And this one and this one have more of a, you know, up and down motion like that. So that's very good. And this one here, he has more so you can have him kind of pointing his sword more. So that's very nice. I appreciate that. Uh, he has a uh, ab crunch, so he can crunch like that, crunch back like that. He also has a waist swivel, so he can go side to side. His legs go out really far, so we do the old Glenn Webb here that's pretty good uh, his legs can go up that far can go back that far he has an upper thigh cut double jointed knee just notice I got some white paint in that hinge that's kind of weird or that pin and then he also has a ankle hinge so very nice very nice and Look at that beautiful ankle pivot. So you are definitely gonna love getting this guy into some crazy poses because it is Nightcrawler. It's the next, you know, best thing to pose next to a Spider-Man figure, in my opinion. Um, just because he's such a dynamic character, so you're just gonna have no limits to the type of poses that you're gonna want to get him in. Most of them are gonna be probably crouching, but it'll still work. And here he is next to the brown suited Wolverine, and I know through the camera it kind of looks like they're the same height, but I, I promise you they are not. He is actually a bit taller than Wolverine, but not overly tall, so I really like that. It really works. There you go, you get a better idea of the size. Um, but yeah, this works very well. And here he is next to dear old mom, Mystique, and stepsister, or, or I don't know. Uh, Rogue, uh, very nice family portrait here, very nice scale, and 
Once again, I just love seeing these characters, these designs together in this figure form. It makes me very happy. And for some more X character comparisons, we have Beast, Cyclops, and Jubilee. Looking great, looking fantastic, so much blue. Ugh. But um, just love the different builds and the variety that we have in all these characters. It makes me so happy. Um, thank you, Hasbro. And as an added bonus, here we have our new Hasbro Nightcrawler compared to the old Toy Biz Legends Nightcrawler. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you definitively which one is better because everyone's going to have their own personal preference. My personal preference is this one. Uh, upon pulling this one out, I was just looking at him and I'm like, for one, you know, that face, that weird jawline, like the chin just doesn't just doesn't look like very nightcrawlery to me. And another thing is, too, if you look here on the old Toy Biz one, they just painted dots in there. And I thought maybe it was like a chip or something, but no, that's literally, well, that one looks good. That one, not so, or that one, not so much, but the rest of them, not good. But I mean, if, I mean, uh, to me, this one's much better. You get the three head sculpts, you get the sword, um, and it just looks more updated. I mean, if, if you want to stick with this one, you can. I mean, he does have the bendy wire tail, which is super great, and that's really cool. And he's no slouch in the posing, but his joints over years have gotten a little, uh, loose but I mean it's all it's all personal preference really and my personal preference is this one here and this one you go back to the box so yes if you can't tell I do love this figure uh, I could not wait for him and I could not be happier with him so you have an updated Nightcrawler with these fantastic alternate heads um, it's just a great delight it's super fun to pose the playability and the fun factor is just through the roof. If you see him in store, grab him. Because something about these 90s X-Men figures that if you see them in the wild, you better grab them because they don't show up too often. Especially these 90s ones, that Jim Lee era stuff. Like, yeah, fantastic. If you like this review and you want to see more, go ahead, click subscribe and click the bell notification to get notified every time we post content on the channel. We have Toy Hunt, Unboxings, and reviews along with our podcast, Kapowcast, that goes up every week. And you can also find over on the Pod Bros Podcasting Network. Until next time, take care.